So uh, for me, like as far as I'm concerned, I when I started research, it was already internship or you know like very end of the final year. So I did not have any option to go for ICMR like projects, which is readily available for at least Indian medical students. So that's something I could not do. But uh, yeah, so I directly approached my professors and I asked them if there's any research that I can you know participate in or is there something I can start myself, you know. So yeah, that's how I started with it. So the key here is um, you know your seniors, okay? So that is the biggest thing that you can do for yourself when you are trying to get into research. Approach your seniors who have done research previously or who are on the USMD journey. Most of the times, they are the biggest help in you know, guiding you towards which professor you have to go and approach because there are some student-friendly professors in every medical college who will help you with research. It doesn't matter if it's an ICMR project or anything, they will help you out. So yeah, go ahead. And it's not necessary that you know all about research when you're approaching them. You should, you know, you should show interest. But at the same time, if like on the course of doing research under them, you start losing interest or you start being, you know, a little sloppy, then obviously they're not gonna they're not gonna help you out. So the key here is definitely show interest. And so for research, start with the small things like case reports are the easiest form of research that you can do. And they are easiest to come by, like you can approach your assistant professors, like because they are the most friendly in any college. So you can approach them or you can approach the residents and, you know, ask them if there is an interesting case, read up on the case file, approach the attending physician that you want to work on a case report on the particular case. So that's how you start with research. Once you are, you know, into the zone and you are do you have done with like one or two case reports, you can ask the attending to uh, involve you in some original research. You can start with that. And especially for medical students who have the access to all the patients and everything, you can collect data and you can actually go for the original researches very nicely. And if you're a graduate, then definitely it becomes a little tricky because you don't have your college backing you and you have to be innovative with how you're going to start with research. So for graduates, the best thing you can do is, you know, contact, first of all, uh, reach out to your preceptors on USC when you are doing your US clinical experience, you can just ask your preceptor if there's any research project that you can involve yourself in. And sometimes they have it and they might allow you to. And if not there, if there's any good case coming up, again, you can ask them for the case reports. So that's the basic of it. And then we have the remote researchers, okay? So there are a lot of research groups available. Like I think there's lack in uh, remote research groups, so you can sign up for that and you can like try to sign up for different different projects that they keep posting there and you can get into research by that method. Or you can, uh, second thing that you can do is you can get into like project IMG research groups or peer review or something like that. So there are a lot of online research groups. So all these groups are more like they would post an idea or they would like say that someone is interested in a systematic analysis or something like that. So you can, you know, sign up for that. And obviously from there on, you have to show interest, you have to learn and everything else that goes without saying. Uh, but yeah, when you are trying to get into research through these remote research groups, you have to remember that there are a lot of people who have a lot more experience than you. So for even matching that thing, you should know your basics very well. So there are a lot of research courses that you can go for on online and you know, you can just listen to those courses. There are courses on systematic analysis and all those things. So you should know those courses. You should know basics on how to go about research before actually approaching to someone that, okay, I want to be part of the team. So you have to do that, definitely. And then lastly, the last option you have is research positions that are directly in US. So like Mayo Clinic, Hopkins, and a lot of other institutes offer research positions to graduates, international medical graduates. So you can start directly emailing PIs, like principal investigators, you email if you like find a research, if you like it, you can just directly email the principal investigator, like, you know, introduce yourself and say that you are interested in getting into research. And if you are lucky, you'll get a reply. Most of the times you don't, but sometimes you do get it as well. So that's one option. Lastly, use your networks and try to reach out to people for these positions as well.